Don't be a... For Billy Donovan. Ten. Troy Clodge to leave. Jesus, how wonderful it is. All right, so here we have a beautiful example of one of the finest transceivers to ever enter into the hands of man. <laughs> this is the uh, gorgeous ICOM model IC 7800. Uh, this was one of the, well, it was the top of the line transceiver in its day. I believe they started these in 04, 2004. They made them for a few years. Now they've got the I think it's the 7850. I'm not sure what the next uh, greatest thing is, but this was so far out of its time. And you talk about a large transceiver. I do not have the dimensions on this, but it looks like it's about 20 inches across, I swear, and m deeper than that. And it's very heavy. Uh, I'll get the dimensions for you uh, later, but this thing is, uh, it's a beast. It's, it is absolutely huge. So if you're going to get a radio like this, make sure you uh, have some serious real estate, uh, a very nice sized heavy desk. <laughs> uh, anyway, I don't want to go on too much about it, but if you ever get a chance to have one of these and run one for a while, especially if you're a serious contester or, you know, maybe a net control operator, whatever it is, uh, if you want something fun to play with, this ICOM 7800 is for you. And these things are much more affordable now than when they used to be. I believe this radio first came out uh, for about $12,000 in 04, which that's a lot of money in 04. Let's see. I'll show you what this thing looks like. Of course, it's got the, the nice looking ICOM logo uh, inset right into the uh, metal cabinet. Uh, here's the manual. This thing is... It's a, it's a regular book. It's, it's quite thick, actually, and I haven't counted the pages, but it has a lot. This, uh, oh, and also this uh, transceiver comes with a brand new, never used HM36 uh, uh, micro microphone, hand microphone, and also all of the new, still in plastic, accessory uh, plugs and connectors that came with the radio. And also the new, never used uh, rack handles that you can uh, mount on the side here if you want to do some rack mounting with this thing. And it's probably not a bad idea for that. If nothing else, just to have a, a way to grab a hold of the radio. Uh, this one is in a incredibly nice condition. If there's a scratch on it, I, I don't know. You have to look long and hard. Uh, it, was, it had very little use. The fellow that owned it bought it. And, uh, you know, a lot of people that buy these have a lot more money than they do time. <laughs> and so it's sat a lot, uh, like for years, actually. So not a lot of hours on this one. It has full output power, uh, does everything it's supposed to do, and it's so easy to, to use. I mean, this thing is so easy to change bands. You know, obviously, there's no great menus here. You simply hit it there, and there's your band change. It's great. I love it. There's 80 meters there, so forth. You have the two different uh, receivers there. Uh, here's some of the controls. I'm not going to go over all of these. There's just too many, <laughs> honestly, to go over. But uh, your basic uh, solid-state HF transceiver. Of course, it has the type of buttons that, you know, you press it and they pop out for use. And then you can push them back in so you don't break them off later. Um, so there you have it. This is, again, the ICOM model IC7800 uh, solid-state HF transceiver covering 6 meters through 160.